Welcome to the Virtual Cheese Awards 2022, showcasing the best of British cheese. I'm Lee and I'm moderating the session. Today we'll be judging um, F4 Buffalo Milk Hard Cheese. I'd like to introduce our two judges, Bronwyn and Perry. You just want to say a few words, please? I'm Bronwyn from the Aussie Yard Dairy. Hi, I'm Perry from Rennet and Rhymes. Excellent, thank you. Uh, the judges will use a point system for judging, scoring against five different attributes. The winner will be the cheese with the most points and go forward to the best of cheese category. So if you will take the only entrant for this uh, category, please, which is F41093. All right. Well, I like the appearance of it. Um, it's got quite Ooh. an even, smooth, buttery colored paste. Yeah, it's very even, isn't it, actually? And the rind, on one side, it has a few indentations of some mites in, but otherwise it looks quite quite healthy and quite thin. Yeah, I think that looks great. I think there's nothing particularly wrong that I can see. It looks quite pleasant, quite inviting, nothing particularly amazing, but I think there's, I, I'm around about a seven, I think, on that visually. Yeah, Absolutely, seven sounds good. A nice sort of fruity, fruity edge to the aroma. Yeah, Avery. I think it's just got a really kind of um, garlic, kind of uh, um, a wild garlic almost. Or um, yeah, I think that's quite interesting. I quite enjoyed that aroma um, mm. that, that that that's coming off that. I think I'm around um, a, a seven. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. It smells very wholesome. Mm. Plenty of moisture in there. Mm. Hmm. It's interesting because it has um, a, uh, a kind of a, a oh, I forgot what it, what it is, but like a burnt toast to it. There's a real walnutiness to it, like it's yeah, like yeah, nuts. Yeah, it's kind of. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's in that area of a walnut, but also a little bit um, just burnt kind of area. Yeah, like very uh, toasted and like almost singed. I know yeah, what you're singed, about toast. Yeah. toast. Like, like carcinogenic in a good way. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of the compounds they, they warn you about. It's really interesting. I don't think I've ever had a cheese that tastes like no. that before. No, oh. and I... And I, I'm really not mad at it in a, in a very strange way. Um, no, it's unusual to have something so different. And yeah, I kind of I, I kind of like it. It's just coming out of total left field flavor wise. Um, yeah. Like a little bit of bitterness, but again, in that kind of like wet walnut skin sort of way. Yeah. But it's but, kind of like it, it's a playful bitterness that <laughs> doesn't... Um, you know, really knock things out. And there's kind of a, a, a element of some, yeah, I, I think that's really intriguing. I agree. And it's pretty, and it's pretty kind of one directional, but it's, um, it, it's on the balance of dropping off a cliff and being quite horrible and into that area of the carcinogenic kind of aggression. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm thoroughly intrigued actually. Yes, um, saturated with this character that's very, very unusual. I don't know if that's a hard buffalo milk cheese aspect. Yeah. I haven't tasted that many hard buffalo milk, you know, aged cheeses, but yeah. Yeah, I, I've never had that. I've had a few, but I, I, I would remember that, you know, <laughs> if that happened. So I, I'm, um, I'm really, really pleased with it, actually. Ooh. I feel like... Um, I feel like it's a very narrow cheese in terms of some people, you know, mom might love it or hate yeah. it kind of area. Um, but um, but I, I, I actually love it. I, I, I'm going to be a nine on flavor. Yeah, I agree. It's big. It's bombastic. And um, yeah, I could I could eat some more of it. Yeah, nine. Mm. 
texture wise, I think likewise, it's very giving. There's plenty of moisture in that. Um, it's not wet or pappy. I would give it a, an eight. Yeah, I think an eight. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And true to type, I wouldn't particularly um, <laughs> want, to, want to mark it down for this because I'm, you know, I, 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 yeah. Can we go for an eight and yeah. say that for a hard milk buffalo cheese, it seems like that it's consistent, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it. That sounds Sorry, good to me. My light's <laughs> just gone off. Everyone's <laughs> telling me to get out. <laughs> oh, and I guess the only other thing was aroma. And I think, you know, that that wet walnut burnt toast thing is very, um, very unusual, very interesting. Let's uh, let's reward that as well. I think maybe yeah. an eight. An eight, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Cool. I like that very much. I, 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 I'm, I'm starring that one. I'd love to find out who does that. Totally. Me too. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that, that one actually scored quite strongly. Um, it is the only entrant and the winner of the category. Um, and I would just like to thank our, our sponsors, South Carnarvon Creameries um, and Butler's Farmhouse Cheeses for our aprons. Uh, thank you, judges. You've done a, a sterling job. Just to remind everybody, the live event is on Friday the 13th of May, judging the best of classes in the categories Best English, Irish, Welsh and Scottish Cheeses, along with the awards that recognise the talented and passionate people within the industry. The day will culminate with the award of the Supreme Champion 2022. Once again, judges, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.